Hello and welcome back to another Chart Hub Market Update. It is the 13th of September 2023. Remember, everything you're about to see is not financial advice, it is purely art on the chart. And if you wish to support the channel, then check out all those links down below. Come and join us in the Discord if you're interested in getting the Chart Hub signals. Come and join us in there for some fun. All right. Bitcoin, as always, doesn't change. First up. Looking at the daily chart here, we did have a, uh, you know, it's somewhat of a reasonably okay day yesterday. Green, but, um, you know, a good wick on top. Wouldn't be surprised over the next 24 hours or so to see that wick get tested. We normally like to see those things um, happen. So, uh, you know, a good move up during the day uh, towards that high. That's that 26.5. We, we really identified that as an area numerous times previously to get above, but um, we weren't able to. And, and closing on that 200 moving average on the four hour. So sort of a double area here. They've got the horizontal, uh, basically the supply line, but uh, horizontal resistance along with that 200 MA. But a good move up. You do see the supply come in. And then, uh, you know, a reasonably good supply candle just here, in fact. But price not really able to push um, lower and not able to push below that 50 MA. So, yes, it's red. But with that 50 moving average, you can see, uh, you know, a lot of volume. And, and it's, it's almost like it was, uh, you know, compressed right into that moving average and just held that. So, so far, a little bit of a low volume uh, over the past few hours. As expected, London uh, is pretty much open now um, and, and not much going on. Okay, but uh, like I said, expect uh, you know us to come up and test 25.6, maybe another time, you know, test that supply that come in. That would be more of a bullish uh, feel, you know, definitely give you a feeling this was more like a spring, um, you know, the volume initially didn't have sort of a, a spring feel but uh, definitely that increase on the move up felt a little bit nicer but the inability to break above this high let's give it another go if we can't break again or even a failure to get to that uh, high you know we'll be putting in some form of m shape potentially but a failure to get to that supply line would uh, definitely show a lot of weakness. I don't think our uh, indicators are really going to give us much clue here, but uh, our PRI is facing downwards. No, uh, you know, no major indication here. Um, and one hour is fairly neutral after it's uh, been pretty, pretty relaxed for quite a few hours now. Okay, so I don't think I'd really be bullish on, on, on Bitcoin. Uh, you know, until we sort of break this um, downward trend here. Okay, let's break out, get a back test maybe if you're lucky, and, and then move on up. But uh, yeah, on the higher time frames, if we can test that supply that came in and it's not matched, you know, the supply doesn't come in again for a second time and, and uh, overcome demand, you know, we'll be looking for higher prices and we we'll should be coming up to this trend line as well as, uh, you know, 200 moving average, 50 moving average on our daily chart. I'm looking around about 27.6 just coming into the beginning of this potential reversal area um, but uh, yeah really right up to uh, 28.6 that's the big boss but uh, yeah there's a lot of work to get up there so i've seen a couple of uh, spikes in demand of course but uh, you know just lower highs so far not uh, not great not the best okay so so Definitely still not looking bullish, but the fact that we haven't broken down still, hey, we're just hanging on. And, uh, you know, maybe maybe this move here, uh, what we saw yesterday was just another opportunity for, um, you know, for, for supply for, you know, the composite operator to offload a little bit more um, and then and maybe initiate, initiate or look to initiate a move down. Anyway, not much to say about that. <laughs> Still managed to go through five minutes. Uh, NASDAQ, red day yesterday, rejecting the BAM of the bearish butterfly. So far, let's uh, you know keep an eye on that for now. We'll, we'll keep it up. Going to hide H HPC for a second because of its uh, inability to print the Gartley correctly, unfortunately. Um, yet the Gartley already had our type one. This is our type two return, now our type two reaction. 
if you watched yesterday's stream or you watched the market update, you would have known that this was a good... In fact, even the update before that, this a potential reversal area, this is why we have it. This was a good area with a nice bit of confluence for the, uh, for the pattern completion of the Gartley. And that's, uh, you know, that was our potential reversal area. And here we go. So some good supply coming in yesterday. Let's have a look at the daily. Yeah, again, we, we've spoken about this, right? We have spoken about this. Uh, how the supply on the days down is a lot larger or is larger. Maybe not always a lot larger, but is larger than the uh, than demand on the green days. And we see a massive bearish engulfing candle yesterday on the daily. Um, one day, 12 hours. That's, a, you know, quite a way to go until we confirm the three day candle, but already, uh, you know, starting to take out most of the previous. Um, and in terms of the weekly, <laughs> There's definitely some uh, mirror action going on here. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, we spoke about uh, the much, much, much larger pattern. Sorry, we go to the three day. We did talk about the much larger pattern, potential larger pattern. But I, I did delete that because I wanted to see the butterfly a little bit more, but it still sits there. We'd be looking for a, a, a more of a stronger, more convincing move down from here to, to really start to think of that could be a possibility of a BAM at 14.6. But aside from that, uh, yeah, our PRI is facing down on the daily, um, though the four hour is um, just coming out of oversold. So we may see a little bit of a move up uh, at the beginning of the day up to 15.8, something like, oh, sorry, 15.5, just short of 15.6. Okay, round about uh, this little level just here um, before, uh, before moving moving down um, let's turn on that pra just one more time yeah so maybe just short of this pra actually maybe just just coming into it here so maybe coming up to that 50 ma on the four hour uh, sorry the one hour um 15.6 15.5 pre-market maybe market open then uh you know that could be an opportunity to uh to to take a position to uh to the downside maybe a little bit of confluence here potentially with this uh with this tread by natural gas had a really good day yesterday massive massive green candle and hey just coming up to almost coming up to uh, right up against resistance um price action looks like it's just um, contracting a little bit which uh, isn't isn't the worst thing um, you can just see, can, can you see it? Can you see that little pattern in there? Okay, there you go on natural gas. So just contracting a little bit so far, but uh, hey, I'm still looking for those lower prices. So, you know, we could just be doing this, all right? Um, but uh, yeah, definitely in an area where we could see uh, a little bit of a, uh, you know, a, a reversal um, rejecting off of that trend. And just below that PRA as well. Let's have a look on the four hour. Anything? Yeah, so just below a PRA. On the four hour, we had the bearish um, PRS signal. Okay, it's a potential reversal signal. So, uh, yeah, nice little bit of confidence up against that trend line to, to reverse there on natural gas. DXY, let's see the DXY going a little bit choppy, choppy sideways at the moment. I'm currently uh, looking like, uh, yeah, the again cloning these candles right <laughs> two candles that look the same um just heading sideways um not the worst thing to see after such an incredible move up not the worst thing to see if you uh you know want to, of course the dxy to continue its move to the upside but yeah declining volume on the lower time frame bit of con consolidating price action like i said not the worst thing to see um, and gold and silver, hey, uh, yeah, not too much to say. Gold, uh, not the best day yesterday, heading down towards that 200-day moving average. Um, possibly going to break it this time, just hanging on so far, but not really a convincing bounce. Um, you know, a reasonably okay supply coming in. And silver, a um, bit of a flat day yesterday, but uh, currently down 0.97%. Again, riding that trend line 
Um, Golden 7, pretty boring lately. Not much to talk about. Let's move on. Apple, after their uh, little, what do they call it? Keynote conference type thing getting decimated. Uh, I say decimated. It was down 1.71. So, yeah, we had a, had a really good day on Apple, followed by, uh, you know, not so much of a good day. Um, or at least following day is not so good. Okay, so currently down 0.32 pre-market. Uh, the BAM. Look for 171.96. You break 171.96. There you go. That's the BAM for the bullish bat pattern down to 150 bucks. Um, and that really is our concludes our market update. There's not too much to talk about. And uh, yeah, real quick one. So if you've made it this far, I really appreciate you. Thank you very much. Don't forget to give us a like. Um, check out that Discord link. And um, I will see you next time. Tomorrow night. Live stream. All right. Trade safe. Get ready.